Our today's topic is structure of fungi. Fungi are a group of eukaryotic microorganisms that have well-defined nucleus and other cell organelles. Fungi are heterotrophic and typically saprozoic and absorb nutrients from their surrounding. Now, what is heterotrophic mode of nutrition? It is a mode of nutrition in which organisms depend upon other organisms for their food to survive, right? And saprozoic. Saprozoic are the organisms that release enzyme into surrounding where the enzymes convert organic matter into uh, simpler products and these products are then absorbed uh, by the organism through body surface, right? It mainly uh, found in slime molds, right? So, because fungi decompose the living matter, that's why they are commonly called decomposers. Fungi are mostly multicellular. For example, mushrooms and molds, some of them are unicellular, like yeast. Body of the fungi is filamentous, means have a long thread-like structures, which are called hyphae, and these hyphae are collectively known as mycelium. I will show you the structure of hyphae and mycelium later. Yeast are microscopic fungi, consisting of solitary cells that reproduce by budding. Uh, molds, in contrast, occur as in the form of long filaments known as hyphae, which grow by apical extension. Fungi reproduce by spores, produced asexually or sexually. Sexual reproduction occur by the fusion of two haploid nuclei. This process is called karyogamy, followed by meiotic division of the diploid nucleus. Asexual reproduction occur by a division of nuclei by mitosis and fungi, some fungi also capable of causing superficial, cutaneous, subcutaneous, systemic or allergic diseases, right? So now structure of fungi, living body of the fungus is a mycelium made out of a web of tiny filaments called hyphae and you can see here in this diagram, these are hyphae, right? This, this. Hyphae and you must have seen mushroom, an edible fungus, right? So this is mushroom and its body is made up of mycelium. So these mycelium are group of hyphae. So these, these uh, group of hyphae means mycelium, right? So mycelium usually, usually hidden in soil. In wood or in other food source means uh, depend upon the source on which fungus grows right so hyphae which are continuously connected and filled with multinucleated cytoplasm are called cynocytic hyphae this is a cynocytic hyphae you can see here no septa are present septa means cross walls in between the nuclei right so this type of the hyphae, when no septum or no cross wall is present, called the cynocytic hyphae, and these are the septate hypha when uh, septum are present, right? So, this is cell wall nuclei in each partition, mean cells, right? So, in between uh, a septum, pore is present, right? So, fungal cells, otherwise, it's a similar to that of the plants and animals containing all the organelles uh, like nucleus, mitochondria, ribosomes, uh, endoplasmic reticulum, etc. So fungus cell is bounded by a rigid cell wall made up of a material called chitin. And this chitin material is similar to that in the case of insect exoskeleton, right? So fungi may exist as single cell, for example, yeast, or fungal body composed of long chains of cell called hyphae. So this is single cell mean yeast and this is a body made up of hyphae. So mass of hyphae are called mycelium, right? So fungal cell contain a membrane bound nucleus 
where the DNA in the nucleus is wrapped around the histone proteins, right? Fungal cell also contain mitochondria, Golgi system, uh, other uh, means complex system of internal membranes, including uh, all the uh, cellular organelles like endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi platelets, etc. So, unlike plant cells, fungal cells don't have chloroplast or chlorophyll. That's why they are heterotrophic uh, type of nutrition, right? But plants, they are autotrophic because have chloroplast, they can synthesize their own food. So, many fungi display bright colors, means some cellular pigments are there in the uh, body of the fungi, right? Ranging from red to green to black. Um, in the case of there is a poisonous fungi, Amanita muscaria, it is recognizable by its bright red cap with white patches. Cap, as uh, you know, uh, in the case of mushroom, uh, of white color, colored uh, cap is there. So, in the case of this poisonous fungi, cap is bright red in color with white patches, right? So, what is the function of these pigments? They are associated with the cell wall and play a protective role against uh, ultraviolet radiations, right? Like plant cells, fungal cells also have a thick cell wall, right? Rigid layer of fungal cell wall contains complex polysaccharides called chitin and glucans, as I told you earlier. So, fungus cell wall is made up of complex polysaccharides called chitin and glucans, right? Fungi have plasma membrane then, similar to the other eukaryotes, except in the case of fungi, here the structure is stabilized by ergosterol, right? Ergosterol is a steroid molecule that replaces cholesterol found in the animal cell membrane, right? In the case of animal cells, here the stabilizing material or uh, steroid is cholesterol. Uh, in the case of plants, beta cytostrol is there. But in the case of fungi, here the uh, structure is stabilized by ergosterol. Right? So, most members of the kingdom fungi are non motile, means lack of flagella. Now, what are the key components of the fungal cell? Include cell wall. Plasma membrane, nucleus, cytoplasm. You can see here the structure of fungal cell means hypha or fungus, right? So, this is cell wall, plasma membrane, nucleus, this is all cytoplasm, mitochondrion, uh, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, and you can see here septum, right? Pore, this is pore. So, this is a structure uh, of a fungal cell. First of all, we will discuss cell wall of fungi. Rigid cell wall of fungi is stratified structure. You can see this diagram. Consisting of chitinous microfibrils embedded in the matrix of small polysaccharides, proteins, lipids, inorganic salts, pigments, uh, all provide skeletal support and shape to the enclosed protoplast, right? Chitin is a beta 1 4 linked polymer of N acetyl G glucosamine. So, major polysaccharides uh, of the cell wall matrix consist of non cellulosic glucans, beta 1 3 glucan, this is beta 1 6 glucan, then uh, manin, you can see here this purple colored structure. This is a polymer of mannose. Similarly, chitosine polymer of glucosamine and clactins polymer of galactose. Small amount of fucose, rhamnose, xylose and uh, uronic acid may also be present in the cell wall. In addition to the chitin, glucan and banin, cell wall may contain lipid, proteins, chitosine acid, uh, phosphatases, Alpha mylase, protease, melanin, and some uh, inorganic coins such as phosphorus, calcium, magnesium, etc. Here, I will give you an example uh, Candida albicans, a yeast. 
Here the cell wall contains approximately 30 to 60 percent glucose, 25 to 50 percent mannan, 1 to 2 percent chitin, uh, and uh, 2 to 14 percent lipid, and 5 to 15 percent proteins. Right now, plasma membrane. Plasma membrane uh, of fungi similar to the mammalian plasma membrane, but um, as I told you earlier, the difference is nonpolar sterol that is ergosterol rather than cholesterol in the case of animals and beta-cytosterol in the case of plants. So what are the function of this plasma membrane? Plasma membrane actually regulates the passage of material into and out of the cell by being selectively permeable means allow only uh, the passage of certain material not all. So membrane steroids provide structure means modulation of membrane fluidity and possibly also control of some uh, physiolo uh, physiologic events, right? So plasma membrane contains primarily lipids and protein along with small quantities of carbohydrates. Major lipids are the amphipathic phospholipids and sphingolipids that form lipid bilayer. The hydrophilic heads are outward the surface and hydrophobic tails are buried to the interior of the membrane. So proteins are interspersed in this bilayer with peripheral proteins being weakly bound to the membrane in contrast to integral proteins are tightly bound. Peripheral proteins means present uh, the, uh, toward the outer surface of the lipid bilayer and integral proteins which are embedded into the uh, lipid structures lipid bilayer right so microtubules then microtubules are the principal components of if you remember they are the principal components of spindle fiber which assist in the movement of chromosome during mitosis and meiosis right so fungi possess uh, microtubules composed of a protein tubulin this protein consists of a dimer composed of two protein subunits so microtubules are made up of tubulin protein Microtubules are long hollow cylinders, approximately 25 nm in diameter, right? And uh, occurs in the cytoplasm. These structures uh, means as a component of larger structures. So these structures are involved in movement of organelles, chromosomes, nuclei, Golgi vesicles, and containing cell wall precursors, right? So now nucleus. Fungal nucleus is bounded by double nuclear envelope and contains chromatin and nucleolus. So fungal nuclei are variable in size, shape and number. DNA associated proteins occur as a long filaments of chromatin, right, which condenses during cell division. Number of chromosome varies uh, with the particular fungus. Within the cell, 80 to 99 percent of the genetic material occurs in chromosome as chromatin and approximately 1 to 20 percent in the mitochondria, right? So, when DNA helix unwinds, one stand serve as template for the synthesis of R RRNA, tRNA and mRNA, right? So, mRNA uh, passes into the cytoplasm and attaches to one of the ribosome, which are complexes of RNA and protein that serve as sites for the synthesis of proteins right so in the cytoplasm other structures which are present cytoplasm you know is a jelly like substance where the various cellular components uh, means buried and function mitochondria often referred as powerhouse of the cell and generate energy endoplasmic reticulum plays a vital role in protein and lipid uh, synthesis and Golgi apparatus modifies and so and package proteins and lipid for transport. Right? So this is all about the structure of fungi.